एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड आई थिंक आई नीड टू वेलकम माय सेल्फ बैक टू माय ओन चैनल बिकॉज आई टुक अ रियली लॉन्ग ब्रेक आई पोस्टेड द लास्ट वीडियो टू वीक्स बैक एंड प्रोबेबली दैट वाज आल्सो द लास्ट टाइम व्हेन आई वाज सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ कैमरा फिल्मिंग सो टुडे आई फाइनली डिसाइडेड to dress up a little bit and sit in the front of the camera and talk to you guys again i know whatever i say right now will sound like a very bad excuse even i feel like that but to be very honest i was very tired and a lot of things were happening and i was just not getting the right time to film a video and i was not mentally ready so i think you have uh, guessed it from the title of this video that i am shifting to another apartment so we are moving from this rented apartment to a new one and i was busy house hunting for the last one and a half month so my search started uh, i think uh, just in the beginning of january or maybe the last week of december and initially i thought it's going to be a very quick and easy process i will find a new house uh, just like you know Uh, in a weekend and i can shift within one week but when the process started i realized it's very very hectic and overwhelming there are a lot of things that you need to consider you need to know and you don't get to know them before you start right and i think it's easier for bachelor people like they can just move in with some of their colleagues or friends and they just don't need to consider a lot of stuffs but when you have a family there are a lot of things that you keep in mind and yeah that was pretty much it finally after a long hunt of one and a half month we have finalized a house i really love it and i'm so excited to create amazing videos over there too but yeah in this uh, video i thought i will share my experience with you guys so um in this video i'm going to share all things that i learned while searching for a new house so if you are doing it for the first time i hope this video will be helpful for you and yeah that's going to be it for this video so keep on watching okay so the first and most important thing that you need to consider is your location if you ask me i will always say that find a place that is nearer to your work location i know a lot of you are working from home right now so commuting every day is not a thing but things are changing like people are getting vaccinated and a lot of things are going back to normal so yeah your workplace will probably resume the usual kind of you know situation very soon and then you will have to go to work every day and uh, traveling on a daily basis is such a hectic thing like it does not only take up a lot of time but it also drains you out of energy and by the time you are back home you just don't have the energy or enthusiasm left to do anything else so yeah i personally always prefer staying nearer to the workplace because it is very convenient and also make sure that you are staying at a place uh, which has like basic facilities nearby bank atm hospitals and uh, definitely a marketplace so yeah choose your location wisely and that is how you can start your search the next point to consider is your budget again something very important because when you are renting an apartment this is going to be a regular expenditure so whatever your budget is 25000 35000 45000 whatever it is you have to spend it every month so be very sure about it and fix your budget very wisely so that at least for the next one year or so you are like okay about spending that amount of money every month and also when you are renting an apartment usually you have to give a security deposit that is um, usually like 2 or 3 months rent and if a broker is involved you have to pay that person one month's rent so the sum total is like 5 to 6 months of rent at the same time in the beginning so uh, Uh, if you are renting an apartment make sure that you have that kind of loose cash so that uh, you know once you choose a house these things do not bother you anymore and you are prepared in advance so yeah that is another important thing that you need to know before you start your search and i would suggest you to start your search online nowadays there are so many websites available and the process is very very simple i will give a list of all the websites in the description box down below which i looked into and most of these websites are functional um, you know all throughout india so yeah the search process is just like buying something 
shopping something there are all the filters available you can give your selected location you can uh, you know select the number of rooms that you want the kind of furnishing that you want and yeah that really narrows down your search and the best part is uh, you can also see the pictures and get an idea if you do not like any property you can reject it then and there without wasting your time and without visiting the place but obviously at times it is not very clear like you can get confused like the pictures look very beautiful and very you know well maintained and maybe you visit the place and then realize that it's a very different story altogether but yeah you save a lot of time when you start searching online and also you get to contact the owner directly or you get to contact the broker now i preferred contacting a broker for two reasons one um, when you contact an owner maybe that person won't be available all the time or maybe he won't be available in your preferred time but with a broker you can go there in your preferred time it's a little easier and also the brokers usually know a lot of other properties too maybe stuffs that are not listed in the websites so yeah but uh, then again when you contact a broker you have to pay him one month's rent so if that's um, possible for you then you can go for a broker or you can directly contact a lot of owners the phone numbers will be available in the websites so yeah start your search like this and then slowly <laughs> you know you can go for both online mode and offline mode and you will definitely find something but yeah that is how you do it now while looking into the apartments the first thing that you need to consider is the condition of the place this is very important and you have to be very serious about it and this is something that is applicable both for new and old places make sure that uh, the doors and windows are in the perfect condition the walls are perfect um, there's no damage in the furnitures that are provided or in any area and if there is any of these issues discuss that with the owner uh, ask him if he is ready to repair those things and if you are willing to repair those things you have to be very sure about this you know, you know because once you move in and after that if you notice these problems it's very difficult to you know adjust and you cannot move out immediately this is not something that you have bought and it's damaged and you can exchange it it's not that so yeah make sure to look into it thoroughly and once you're sure that yeah this is the place where I want to be everything is perfect or these things will be repaired then only consider that place otherwise look for some other place Another thing that is very important is selecting an apartment that gets enough sunlight and also gets a good airflow that is very very important like I cannot emphasize enough on this point but yeah that is like very important for both your mental and physical health so make sure that you are visiting the house in the daytime to see the kind of sunlight that comes in and also make sure that you open the windows and stay there for some time to see the airflow and everything and if these two things are perfect then you are probably good to go also while considering an apartment make sure that it is big enough and has enough space to accommodate all the furnitures that you already own and this is very important if you are moving from one place to another because in that case you will already have some furnitures and it is kind of difficult to you know sell off the old ones and buy new ones because that takes up time that takes up some extra money and you are usually like used to having some of your own furnitures and kind of build some connection with them and it's not easy to let go so yeah while selecting the apartment make sure that the rooms are big enough there's enough wall space and if you can you can also carry a measuring tape so that you can actually measure the rooms for at least the bigger furniture like the wardrobes or bed maybe and see if that fits in the room and if it does then fine you can consider that apartment another thing that I personally prefer is going for semi furnished apartments and I keep suggesting this to everyone especially for people who are going for rented apartments and who know that they will be moving out within a year or two because this is what happens when you go to a rented apartment if you buy a lot of furnitures maybe you won't be able to accommodate all of them in the next flat when you decide to change this place also carrying all these furnitures with you can become a huge task so when you are living in rented places and you are changing your houses frequently it is better to have less and it is always a good idea to move into apartments that are already kind of furnished at least semi furnished so make sure that you are going uh, 
for places that has some kind of inbuilt wardrobes or storage spaces because storage spaces are really really important also make sure that the kitchens have kind some kind of modular setup or at least some basic places to store all your uh, utensils and all the spices that you need because if you cook there regularly having storage space in the kitchen is a must i rejected around 10 to 12 flats just because the kitchens were not done there, there was nothing in the kitchen and i just could not imagine staying like that so yeah go for semi-furnished flats that will be very easy for you especially if you are someone who keeps changing houses every now and then it is also very important to take things slow i know after one and a half months that at times it gets very frustrating and very tiring and you just want to go for a place you just want to fix something but don't rush into any decision even if the owner or the broker is pressurizing you to finalize a deal don't do that in a hurry because yeah maybe a few places won't be available after one or two weeks but then again a lot of new properties will be available within that time so be slow go through all the choices that you have consider and choose the best one for yourself because this is something that you cannot exchange you know if you don't like it once you move in you will have to stay in there for six months to one year so be sure that this is the place where you want to be and then select the place it's always a great idea if you have at least two or three weeks in hand and yeah that is it uh, choose something very calmly and once you are absolutely sure then decide to move in the last and the final step is getting the paperwork done and to be very honest this is the most crucial step so make sure that you are going through the contract papers very carefully and you are reading it thoroughly so in the contract a lot of different things are mentioned and make sure that you take a note of everything and you agree with the owner so there should be a mention of your monthly rent the amount that you are paying and also uh, if the maintenance charge is included or you are paying it separately and also the due date for it every month there should be a mention of the amount that you are paying in terms of security deposit also there should be a mention of when you need to let the owner know that you are uh, like planning to change the place if it's before two months or before three months there should be a clear mention for this also probably you will have to let the owner know in case you are planning to you know install something in the house or change some kind of painting so yeah all these things are supposed to be mentioned in the contact paper and if you agree to all these points then only sign the papers and yeah after this and once the owner uh, you know like uh, kind of fixes the place cleans the place and does everything then only you make the final payment and then you are ready to move in so yeah these are all the things that i did and finally i am ready to move in my new place i'm very excited so probably that will happen by the end of this month and before i move in i will give you an empty apartment tour there is a su surprise element in the house and i'm very excited about it and i'm very excited to share that with you guys so do stay tuned i will be back with a lot of new videos very soon till then take care and bye bye